One, two, three, go! You're not concentrating. Now look, the secret to the three-legged race is to function as one. One mind, one body. Yeah, but why are we doing this? I don't know. I mean, I'll do it again if you like. Forget it. It was just an experiment. I mean, can't we play Monopoly or something? Proposition I'd like to discuss with you. Yeah? What kind of business? Well, I'd like to rent you and your body of 100% pure steel for an afternoon. You would, huh? Well, how much you paying? My entire life savings. $22. Uh-huh. <laughs> if that's not enough, we could negotiate a fee, arrange some sort of installment plan. What is it, kid? Someone picking on you at school and you want me to go pay him a visit? Oh, no, sir. I want you to be my dad for the father-son competition at my school picnic. Do I look like I know anything about being a dad? Well, you don't really have to be my dad. I just need to win the competition. One afternoon, no emotional strings attached. So what do you think? I think you ought to beat it out here before you get yourself hurt, kid. God, you know, I grew up uh, in Central City. I uh, lost my father very young, so my mom was, um, she had to raise five kids on her own, working three jobs, so she took me to do a lot of her jobs. I moved out of the house when I was 15, and um, basically I've been on my own ever since. Um, I was never told that I could never do anything, and um, I guess that's why the reason why I get stuff done, because um, I was never taught that as a young age, that you can dream and dreams come true. I was always taught that when you stop dreaming, you stop living. And I've seen so many people walk around uh, where you go to work, wake up, uh, go to work, come back, um, do your yard work. Just basically day in and day out stuff and they don't really dream. I was talking to um, a good friend of mine. He was saying, well, you know, I want to get into some of these movies you've been in. What is it going to take? And I says, it takes, you have to dream. If you stop dreaming, you stop living. And you can't do that. That's a problem with a lot of people. So my accomplishments in bodybuilding, I won the Utah twice, Mr. LA, fifth in the USA. I'm my bodyguard work, I've taken care of celebrities such as Jermaine Jackson, Muhammad Ali, um, Angel Salazar, a lot of celebrities in LA. That's the trick is you never stop learning your trade if it's acting, bodyguard, bodybuilding, 
I got involved with the, the Muscular Dystrophy Association um, 13 years ago. I had a cousin diagnosed with uh, muscular dystrophy and he passed away at the age of 13. It's probably the most uh, rewarding, it's, it's probably the most rewarding thing I've ever did in my entire life. It's really cool, we do a lot of camp events for the kids and um, it's just a lot of fun and they're dreaming all the time. Then when one passes, that's the sad part. So the good thing is, you know, they live life to the fullest and we give them a little bit more comfort in their days here on earth. The bad thing is you miss them quite a bit. People just get into a day-to-day a, a, a -day hustle and they forget that, you know, if you just stop and do something completely different, how life is pretty good. Well, the nutrition stop, shop, I've been doing this for uh, 16 years, and it was, um, uh, it's been a, a love of mine since I started bodybuilding. And I really started getting into the, the nutrition, and I started my first nutrition store in Billings, Montana, years later, and started one in Salt Lake City with my wife, Leslie. It was, it's been a great project for uh, my wife and I. I love you, Les. Isogenics was um, a project that was brought to me about two and a half years ago. And um, I took it, did a lot of research before I did take it. I, I do that with any, pro you know, any product that I bring in my store. And um, I was amazed. In the first nine days I lost, I lost about four inches in my waist and about uh, 12 pounds, give or take a couple. And I had more energy. Being a bodybuilder, competitive bodybuilder, since 79, I was, uh, I was really intrigued with how, when I used to cut weight, I was very um, lethargic. Energy was just in the, in the can, and it was totally the opposite. I felt better, my body looked greater, uh, my jeans fit better, and so I brought it in. And um, my wife, she took it and lost uh, about 12 inches in her hips and waist, and it was uh, off to the races. And I started actually implementing this system with personal trainers and gym owners on the bottom line of getting my customer in, its, in the peak shape. It's just phenomenal. And people are coming back and back because they see the results. This system in place not only changes people's lives, but also creates a residual income for them. So not only am I helping with their health, but also with their wealth. And that's what I'm really digging quite a bit and uh, I'm getting people uh, in great shape and uh, adding to their, uh, but their bottom line, which creates them a nice income as well. So I'm really excited about the product. I tell people that I'm a professional dreamer and they laugh, but uh, it's amazing how people have stopped dreaming these days. And that's what life's all about, is dreaming. I just know that I'm gonna always pursue my dreams. And I really believe with doing that, I'm gonna get stuff done. And that's what I've been doing all my life.